Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today I wanted to show you how do you make a slice a hole in your Cricut images so that you're able to put those EOS lip balms that are becoming really popular right now. A lot of people are finding them on sale at different drug stores, or I know that there's a smaller version that people said they're finding at the dollar stores, um, but they make really cute Valentine giveaways. Um, or into school treats or anything like that. So I'm going to show you how did I make some. I did share a couple of files that I created in the uh, Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. So if you want to just get some and cut them out and not have to worry about making your own, you're welcome to use those. Um, but today I wanted to show you how did I take how did I take an image, how did I add that circle, and how did I slice it and then put it all back together again. Now my images, I did not layer them. They are, I used the print and cut feature because I figured that was a lot easier to just do. So I did not assemble all of these. I did the print and cut. So that's what I'm going to show you. But you could certainly go through all these same steps that I'm going to show and just print, cut out the layers and then assemble them if you'd rather have them look that way. Anyway, so. You need to find whatever image you want to use. Uh, create a critter, create a critter to a uh, teddy bear parade, or just some of the cartridges that people are finding really cute images that fit really well. You want to find something that has a face on it or maybe a good tummy area where you could put the um, EOS lip balm. And, uh, and you want to find an image that it's big enough, that you could make big enough that then that will fit correctly. So I'm going to pick the frog prints. And I'm going to pick him and I'm going to add him to my mat. And then I also need to get a circle. So I'm going to go insert images. And I'm going to go to the Cricut Craft Room Basics. Because that is a free image set that anybody can use. So even if you only have certain cartridges and you want to find an image for that, you can, in Design Space, you can always use any of the image shapes in Cricut Craft Room Basics and be able to find some pretty cool basic shapes to use for your project. I use those all the time. So I'm going to go in here where it says note card, but it's just a circle. I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to insert the image. Oops. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. So. I know I'm using Google Chrome, so I know that I have a slight limitation on how, how large I can make my image, um, but I do know that I want him to be 5 inches, and so now he will be 5 inches wide, and that puts his height at 7.233, alright, which is fine. Now my circle, I want to make my circle about 1.53 inches. I know some people were making their circles slightly smaller than that. Um, if you want to do that, that's fine. I uh, The way I set mine up was that I wanted the hole big enough that then I was able to put the open the EOS balm up and then screw it onto the uh, printed out image so that then it all stayed together. So mine are about 1.53. And I'll adjust that a little bit depending upon the shape that I'm using. So I just want to kind of line that up and make sure that where I want to put mine, you could either put it for a nose, which I thought would be funny on a frog, so I'm going to put it on my frog, or you could put it on his tummy if you wanted to make it a tummy one. So uh, either either way is fine, so depending upon your image and what you want to do. Now, with the slice feature, you can only slice one layer at a time. So I'm going to need to ungroup my image, I'm going to go to my layers panel, I've highlighted my image and now I want to ungroup it. Okay. So there are one, two, three, and four pieces to this image, the, I'm going to leave the crown up there. So you're going to have to ungroup all of your layers that you have on any of your images that you're using. Then I want to take my circle and see how it's going to slide behind. So what you do there is you go up to arrange, and up here it says move to front. So it's going to it's going to take the box that I highlighted around the circle, and it'll move that image to the front on top of this other image. 
So now I want to be able to line this up and it is going to cut a hole. All right, how does it do that? Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the circle, then I'm going to um, hold the control key, and then I'm going to right click on the background image. And now in the layers panel, you'll see that the slice feature pops up. So I'm going to hit slice, and it'll take a second, and now it's going to make a slice here for me. Okay, and I don't need this part here. Take that off. Alright, so now I have a slice shape. Alright, now I'm going to lay that layer back on here and I'm going to take that same circle again and I'm going to put it into my hole. And I'm going to line it up. Okay. Now I'm going to move the top layer off of that back layer and now I'm going to highlight the circle again, hold the control key, right click, and now I've highlighted everything. Then I'm going to use the slice feature again and I'm going to slice a hole in the frog. And then I'm going to lay the top piece on top. Okay, so now I know when I layer it, I'm going to have a circle, and I'm going to have, it'll show the white, the black background for the frog's mouth, alright? So, I like to go ahead and group these as I go along, so I'm going to group this one, and then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to add, I have to go back up here, I have to add his heart and his tummy. I'm going to do the arrange and put this on top again, and I'm going to line this up where it looks good to me. Then I'm going to, um, you can do select all. Now, I don't want to do select all. I want to get rid of the circle first. Okay. Then I can highlight this. I could do select all and it would do it for me. Okay. So I could do select all and then I want to do group. Okay. Now I can send this. Now you can see here that it's all on cut all these shapes out. So at this point, if you wanted to cut all the different layers and build the frog yourself and put all the layers together, you could certainly do that. However, I really wanted to make this a print and cut file. So all I need to do is I'm going to highlight it and go into the layers panel and I'm going to flatten it. Okay. Now my cute little adorable frog has the hole cut out in the middle and he will be a print and cut file. So that's how that works. While I'm here, I will go ahead and show you how I added text because in mine, I decided to put be mine in the in the heart on the bottom. So to do that, you just need to go into add text. I'm going to type in be mine. Okay. In the edit panel, I just have it set to the Cricut alphabet because everybody has access to that. And then underneath here, I want this to I want this to um, line up. So I'm going to go over here to where it says align center. And so now it's moved that B over in the middle of the mine. So that looks good. But I like these words to be a little bit closer together. So I can go down here to line spacing, and I can just take use the down arrow, sorry, and move this until I get that so that so the difference between the B and the mine is smaller. Okay. The other thing is if you wanted to move the letter spacing over, you can do that as well, where it would take it and make the letters a little bit closer together. Okay, so that's another thing you can do there. Now, I have this set. I'm going to pull it down here to my to my heart image. And I'm going to kind of put it right about there. Because I still want it to be big enough that I can read it and um, that it would look fine. So I'm going to do select all again and I'll go back to the layers panel and I'm going to hit flatten and now it has flattened the B mine onto my flattened frog image. So now I just go to the print and cut and I'll even show you what that looks like. It's going to take that a second. It'll pull it up to the mat 
and it is going to put it on the printing cut and you know it's printing cut because it has the little printer image and it has the uh, scissors for then going back and cutting it out you'll see that it will put it on a registration mat here for you so these are the registration marks so your image will fit within there um, these are these are um, you know going to be about five inches wide and they're a little bit over seven inches uh, long and so um, the stability on those for when I printed mine I use the 110 pound white cardstock from Georgia Pacific that you buy at Walmart for I don't know you get a ream of it for like six bucks it's an awesome deal um, and it's sturdy enough that when I put my EOS um, images on here when I put the EOS on in through the hole that then I am able to um, it to be stable enough that if I gave this as a gift I'd be able to do that so anyway I hope that this is helpful and I can't wait to see the images that you guys create and feel free to share your design space file for the images that you make uh, if you want to in the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group so we can all take advantage of that. I have the frog prints done and I have the um, from Create a Critter 2 and I have the um, the teddy bear uh, cupid from the teddy bear parade cartridge is already done and in, in our files in Let's Learn Cricut Explore. Have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.